And to have you with us, I'm Gareth Edwards. This is the South African Morning. Let's talk about some incredible uh, metric results. Uh, we're going to do that throughout the day here on the channel and also uh, tomorrow as well, of course. But it's the IEB results uh, that have come out. Uh, you may remember this name, and if you don't, you need to going forward. Sazi Bongwe, uh, he's the St. John's pupil who's heading to Harvard University uh, to further his studies. Now, of course, not surprising then that he's achieved excellent results uh, in his metric finals. Uh, I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to give you a spoiler alert. Let's bring Sazi in uh, on the Sazi morning to you. First of all, congratulations. Uh, we're going to talk about Harvard in just a moment. Very, very prestigious. First of all, you break the news to our viewers uh, who know you by now. How did you do in your matric exams? Go on, show off a bit. Tell us how well you did. Uh, morning. Thanks so much for having me and for the opportunity. So yeah, I, I got distinctions in my nine subjects. And I ended up with an average of 95.9%. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. So uh, who was more excited? You, your parents, your teachers, your granny? I'm sure there was lots of, of yelling and screaming when they saw those results. That's, that's just not passing the trick. That's obliterating the trick. Who was the most excited? <laughs> um, I think it was definitely a collective thing. I mean, I, I sort of like to take agency over my academic journey, but it was definitely my mom who was the most invested um, and she was definitely excited. I think anxious more than excited, but I mean, that turned out well. So yeah, definitely my mom. How nervous were you? Um, I had a few misgivings about some subjects I wasn't sure about. So I had that level of uneasiness, but I mean, I also had confidence in, in knowing that previous years, these marks have worked out typically for, for St. John's students and knowing that I was quite confident with what I put on the page in those IEB exams. Um, so I think it was a mix between confidence and then some kind of apprehension. Well, whatever you put on those IEB exam pages seems to have worked out for you as well. Uh, so nine subject or nine <laughs> distinctions, an incredible uh, pass mark as well. So what's the plan here with Harvard? Because they were flirting with you uh, before you wrote your matric exams. What's the plan with Harvard now that you've delivered uh, on, on the promise? What's the plan? Yeah, so I, I applied to Harvard under the early action program, which means that they admit you or defer you or reject you from the middle of December. Um, so you get that early decision, you get to know. Um, before this results thing happened, I actually accepted my offer at Harvard, so I know that I'll, I'll be there for sure. And I mean, they stipulate that they can rescind your offer of admission if you show a significant drop in your, in your final results. Um, that's typically like a super drastic case. Um, so, yeah, I'm not in that trusted case. So now I can say for sure that I'll, I'll be at Harvard in August. All right. So, uh, Sazi Bongwe, what are we studying at Harvard? I mean, you must have the entire world just about falling at your feet, but Harvard has got you. So uh, what are you going to be studying at Harvard? What's the plan uh, for, for the future? Yeah, so one of the reasons that I chose, one, the American system, but two, Harvard specifically, is that you get two years to explore without a degree. So you don't sort of do that before. You sort of go and you have a few years, you know, two years to do courses that are in a range of disciplines. So that I'd really like and, and I'm going to explore. Um, but I do have a current idea. I'm going to be studying either in applied math and economics, which is a degree that's quite unique to Harvard, um, otherwise government or social studies. So I mean, in that kind of area, is where my interests lie. So whatever ends up materializing is what I'll concentrate in eventually. I don't want to talk just academics, of course. Uh, just the last question to you. Are you going to have a bit of fun before you head over or are you going to wait to get to the US uh, before you cause some chaos? Oh, no, I'm definitely looking to have some fun. I mean, I was speaking to one of my friends, Amara. She got a 97% average and, and we were sort of reflecting on this past year. And we definitely, as much as we worked hard to, to get these marks, there's definitely huge room we feel for us to sort of branch out of that and really sort of come into ourselves and, and, and have that, that fun and exploration. Not that we were deprived of it, um, but just to sort of be more free. So I mean, definitely, um, especially in the months leading up to August, that's what we'll be doing, but also just integrating time for joy and enjoyment um, when I'm at Harvard.
Yeah, as someone who went through it all those years ago, the, uh, the time you get to enjoy post-matric going into university flies by very quickly. So, Sazi, you enjoy it. Uh, you and your friend, Sazi Bongwe, uh, on his way to Harvard over in the U.S. Incredible uh, results, uh, nine distinctions, uh, an incredible uh, pass rate as well for him. Well-deserved, not just him, of course. We know there's lots of other pupils who did very well. We're going to try and reflect as many of those uh, as we can.